Canadians、um, did not take it lightly. That it's kind of insulting. 之前，川普以国安为由筑起关税壁垒太超过，美加在 G7 上撕破脸，会议落幕了，裂痕还不断加深。川普推文表明不满美加关税现况，已经只是官员拒签峰会公报，最后更发文抨击加拿大总理杜鲁多为人不诚实又差劲。We're like the piggy bank that everybody's robbing, and that ends. So we are talking to many countries. We're talking to all countries, and it's going to stop. Or we'll stop trading with them. 恰恰其他国家要是敢对美国关税进行反制，就要全面中断贸易关系。但这一段，美国恐怕没朋友了。Perhaps Trump doesn't mind he's being isolated today, but for us here it matters because these six countries here represent values. They represent the economic market with a strong history. 峰会气氛到底有多僵？这张照片彻底反映。宛如六大派围攻光明顶，气势汹汹的德国总理梅克尔带头围剿美国。反观川普，一副无所谓的表情，让一旁的安倍又气又无奈。但美国不止经济上耍孤僻，战略利益上也要唱反调。Russia should be in this meeting. Why are we having a meeting without Russia being in the meeting? 提议让俄罗斯重返工业国峰会，正在跟习近平你侬我侬的普丁立刻透过发言人回应，正积极参与 G7 外的国际会议。场内吵翻天，场外示威不断，一再被外界批评花钱又一事无成的 G7， 这回又在纷乱中草草落幕。三立新闻上的报道。